Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Got to put on my desk. Get off my desk. Um, today we're we'll trying this uh, McDougal's, McDo Dr. McDougal's um, Organic Noodles, Asian Noodles. This is the teriyaki flavor. And here are the calories. So the whole container is only 200 calories, which is not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, there's the information, the goodness on the go information. Ingredients. So, uh, remove the lid and flavor packet, pour flavor packet over the contents or into the contents of the cup. Add room temperature water to the fill line, about two inches above the cup. Stir well. Okay. Microwave on hot, so you're going to fill it for the fill the stir. Okay. Microwave about 60 minutes per hour for two minutes until it comes with the boil without boiling over. Uh, da, 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 da. Remove from microwave, stir stir, cover tightly with aluminum foil, which I did find aluminum foil last time, um, and let it stand for six minutes or until it's done. So, you can also do it with boiling water, too. So, let's see if I can get this all without plugging it over. Um, I got this at Lucky's Market, which is a market here in uh, Lexington. I'm not sure if they have Lucky's anywhere else or not, but I'm sure they sell these other places. Um, so, there it is. I'm not sure how you would stir that once you pour the flavor packet in. I'll show you why. Here's a flavor packet. This is like a plug of noodles. So if I put the seasoning over there, you can't stir that. I mean, it's hard. It's it's a plug. I can pull it out. It's all one solid piece. So there's no stirring that. So I'm going to pour the seasoning packet over there, put the water in there, get it in the microwave, and I'll be back. Okay, it's set for six minutes under aluminum. Um, absorb most of the liquid. There's some liquid in the bottom, but um, not a whole lot. I guess you can't see. Um, tender, tenderize the noodles quite a bit by sitting in the steam. So. Definitely want to stir it up after it's set though, because um, it's really hot in the bottom and the top is cooled off some. So not a lot there to see except just, um, you know, this is the seasoning and a few little green specks and red specks here and there. Peppers or corn or something, I mean, uh, carrots or something in there. So yeah, I'm gonna let this cool off for just a second uh, while I set the camera up and I'll be back. Okay, it's had a few seconds to cool off. Literally, I didn't sit too long. <coughs> Excuse me, I didn't let it sit too long. So here we go. It's messy, so. I just have to live with it. Here, this is the teriyaki. Hmm. It has a little bit of a sweet taste to it, but it also has like a um, a fishy kind of taste to it, like a shrimp, shrimpy, or I don't know. It has like a, an underlying fishy flavor. It's not necessarily bad. It just tastes like fish. It's not even real strong. It's just like a underlying flavor. This is not bad. It's kind of plain. Um, I wish it had a little more spice to it. Although teriyaki usually is kind of sweet, but um, yeah, there's really no spice to it. There's really no, I mean, there's flavor, but it's not a lot of flavor. It's just kind of there. Um, this one, it's just run of the mill. It's a, it's more like a two and a half because it just flavors aren't there. Um, and I did put the whole flavor packet in there. So I guess if you had some soy sauce or, or um, some kind of um, maybe a teriyaki sauce you could put in there, it might increase that flavors and make it better. But as it is, um, yeah, just kind of blah. So two and a half for me. I'm sorry. So I hope you enjoy this video and thanks for watching.